We're gonna take Cordy right now. We've got the putter that we fit him into, okay? The, the offset that we fit him into for aim, the, the head shape, the line combination. But what I've done is I put the maximum amount of weight in the head, nothing in the handle, and we're gonna watch him hit a putt, and then we're gonna start making changes in the putter and show you the manipulation of weight, how it changes speed control. Perfect. Let's hit one. So right off the bat, Short, linear, right? He doesn't take it back long. Accelerates to a stop, right? So he gunned it fairly good by the hole, right? But yeah. that wasn't his fault. He went to what he thought was the correct amount of pressure. Now think about this. Acceleration back and forth, the perception of how hard you want to hit something goes through your hands. So you have a perception of the amount of load that you're going to feel going back and forth, right? As you, as you, the brain doesn't know the difference between whether the putter's moving or weight is part of that, mm -hmm. right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start changing the weight scenario of this putter. So just one putt is all you need to see. Oh, yeah. You see the kind of the, 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 the length of the stroke mm -hmm. helps me know that, okay, he's short linear, so I'm probably going to go lighter in the head, and I'm going to start putting more weight in, in the handle. So I'm going to go right to 6-gram weight in the head. And what was the previous one? 21 with no weight in the handle, and I'm gonna start putting weight into the handle. So from 21 to six, that's a huge difference. It's a huge difference, yeah. And, and think that, that weight in the head is magnified by the leverage, by the length of, the, of the, the, the lever, right? So I can put a lot of weight up here and it won't feel the same as, you know, six gram change down here will be really significant. So, so I'm gonna start off with 60 grams of counterweight. And I'm basing that on you being short linear. So if you were middle linear, I would put maybe 12 grams as a starting weight, and then I would start putting some internal weight inside of the shaft. Totally different feel. I would describe this personally as it feels more balanced to me. Okay, yeah. I, that's just what I feel. Okay. Quite a bit shorter, right? Yep. So, so we still need to slow you down. So being a linear stroke, you're putting a lot of force into the handle, right? You're not swinging it. You're not waiting for this thing to swing like a, like a tire on a tree. Um, so we're gonna add a little more weight to the top of the handle, which tends to get this fulcrum push feel, right? So you got a weight here, mass here, and then in the middle, you start to feel this kind of like really neutral baton feeling like you're spinning a baton in the middle where you have weights equal distance on each side. So, so, this, so, so called, to, uh, what's that? Is this called counterweighting? This is called counterweighting. Yes. Internal weighting would be putting stuff inside of it, right? Counterweight would be weight at the top. And so a lot of us, you know, you go to a box store and you see a putter that says counterweighted, yes. right? You don't know what the weight is in the no. uh, up here necessarily, right? You're Not necessarily. With different amounts of weight. Yeah, I'm playing with different amounts, right? Yeah. They they fix it and then they put a lot of weight at the top of the, at the bottom of the putter to offset. That's the I think that's where the industry goes wrong. Is they're adding uh, the minute they they say we're going to counterweight a putter, they feel they have to immediately go put weight into the head. Mm -hmm. Where I feel you take weight out of it. the more weight you put in the handle, you take it out of the head. If you need more weight in the handle, you don't need it in the head. Interesting, right? Interesting. So I mean, right off the bat, I feel this is, feels actually even more solid to me. Um, feels heavier. Okay. I feel like I reacted to that because I felt it heavier. Okay, just hit one more. Just try it one more time. Generally speaking, what happens is, is, is. It speeds up the backstroke and slows down the forward stroke because the brain says, I've got plenty of energy here. It's like having a, having a fast sports car and having the ability to get, you know, look in traffic and say, man, I can jump on it and get right into traffic. But if you have a wimpy car, you know, you're winding that thing up and you're afraid you're going to merge, right? So that's why people over accelerate and they gun the gas because they, they, they see something going so slow going back that they go, that's not enough energy. The problem is the visual cortex and what the hands feel kind of work in two different scenarios. One, it's taking it back and the brain saying, I know what a good cadence should look like, but yet it's going back too slow, so I need to change. And it causes this e-stop, boom, got to change the program, then they over-accelerate. And that's, that's where the yips can, uh, can filter in is because the brain um, 
what the what the what the eyes are seeing and what the hands are feeling like they have to do. Mm -hmm. Totally two different systems. Your cerebellum versus your visual cortex. They work in very different ways, uh, but they work in, together, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so. So again, we don't play Goldilocks. We don't hit four or five putts trying to figure out what the right weight is. If it doesn't work right off the bat, it's not right. So immediately slowed right down and almost dropped that thing right on the line. So this, so the last putter felt heavier to me. Mm -hmm. This one felt, I feel like the head is lighter. In it this is. One. Well, that's because I added more weight. So I started at 60, went to 90. Now I'm at 110 grams of counterweight and I've got six grams of weight in the head. So, so even though this is heavier up here, it mm -hmm. can potentially feel lighter. That's what that's what counterweights. That's that is the value of counterweight, right? You have a short stroke, so I'm not trying to tell you how to what you're supposed to feel in terms of your stroke length because that's kind of a natural. That's a natural rhythm for people. They have some people are slower rhythm. You're faster paced, faster rhythm. So we that's why you levitate towards short linear, like Brent Snedeker. That's how he swings the golf club. That's how he that's how he wants to putt. Right? So you got Nick Price, who's whoosh, 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 right? Yep. And his putter was the same way, hmm. right? He doesn't want a slow putter. He's, that's the way he putts. And you see somebody like Crenshaw had a lot longer flowing swing and his putter motion was the same. So we, you shouldn't have a disparaging difference between how you putt and how you play golf hmm. because the timings are the same. So, so that counterweight scenario uh, is completely different, right? Counterweight is helping you release the putter where before all the weight was in the head, and then we just totally switched all the weight to the top of the putter. It actually strokes light, but you know if you're holding it, it feels fairly heavy because there's 110 grams of weight in the handle. So people say, wow, this putter's heavy, and then they stroke it, and they're like, wow, it's really light, Yeah. right? It's very nimble. So when would you go to, you mentioned internal weighting as well. When, when would you go to that? Well, if a person was a middle linear. So I'll give you the sensation of what a, uh, that putter feels like to a person. So I'm, I'm taking out the, the six gram weight, I'm putting in six more grams, okay. which should and would feel more significant um, because it's, and then I'm gonna put a weight down inside of the shaft and I'm gonna start down low. Anything below the hands is gonna feel, have the semblance of head weight, hmm. right? So we don't always have to put weight in the head to get a head weight feel. That's not necessarily what a linear player is looking for. They just want something to feel like there's more mass somewhere in the golf club, right? They've always had to articulate it through head weight because they've always slathered lead tape or whatever on the putter. Oh, I like that feel better, especially when greens get faster. You know, as the summer goes along, sometimes the greens get really fast, right? In some places they get even slower because it gets hot. You know, if you're in Memphis, Tennessee, you know, it's getting hot. They're trying to keep the greens alive, so they're pumping water and they're growing them out. So uh, we can see a lot of changes in green, uh, green speeds. But a lot of people say as the greens get faster, they tend to like, the, they, for some reason, they like putting head weight on a putter, which is the right direction to go. But it doesn't always have to be in the head. It can be down inside of the shaft. Hmm. So now I'm going to put together. So I got 40 at the top, 12 in the head, more weight down here in the middle, which allows, a, 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 I think, a, a middle linear has a little bit longer stroke motion, right? So if you were to take it back a little longer, right, you might feel the need to take it back a little longer because this putter's heavier. So I right away feel this is a heavier putter mm -hmm. generally from what we last mm -hmm. did, which was six grams in the head and 110 in the counterweight. So you'll start seeing tendencies of over acceleration in your type of stroke. If you're short linear and that putter feels heavy, you feel like, wow, I got I to gotta get that thing moving. And you start to get real poppy. And that's where, I, that's where you'll start to see uh, disparaging, um, you know, the pattern of weight causing a, a, a really strong reaction. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, for me, what I feel when I feel this is like, oh, I need to slow down a little bit, maybe as a reaction to mm -hmm. that, I feel like. This, or take it longer. Yeah, this better, you know, do some of that. So it's interesting. Yeah, often through the fitting process, I will see a middle linear, a, a, you know, short middle linear become a short linear, and I'll see a long linear become more of a middle linear when you actually weight the putter correctly because everything gets more efficient. Uh, when, it's, when the putter weighting is off, then you see a lot of uh, inefficiencies. And then so you'll see them defaulting to longer motions and then decelerating or over accelerating. It's just, and they're really, they're, they're 
kind of messed up. So um, that's where I feel like our waiting process is so unique to what anybody's doing in the industry. Nobody's doing what we're doing that I know of. And uh, it's very hard to do if you have very, if you're starting with very heavy head weights. Um, so, so you had me at a short linear mm -hmm. and kind of the one that I liked the best and went was the six, uh, six grams mm -hmm. of the head and then 110 mm -hmm. counterweight. Is that what you'd expect? Is that mm -hmm. normal? Totally. That that's, type? that's pretty much, you know, par for the course okay. on uh, short linears, middle linears. We'll have them hit a putt. If they hit it short, we'll raise that weight up. Mm. Right. Um, if they, if they hit it long, we'll push it down or go to a 75 gram, um, Optivibe in there. Um, and, and, and potentially take out this weight completely and put the, move the weight up and down here with a 75 gram. Um, it could be a 30 down low and a 70 up here. So it's all kind of a process of elimination and there's always a, a moment where that per player goes, wow, that felt uniquely different. And they'll roll ball after ball after ball um, on the string or very near in a very, very tight pattern. So they go, wow, I can just, this powder just feels like an extension of me. Where, so this is all, perception based touch is a perception based process right but you have to have the ability to change perception and if you don't have the ability to change perception through changing weight then you're going to struggle you're always going to think it's you and you're going to have to go to the putting green and practice and practice and practice to just get a feel and then you're always going to go i feel like i hit that too hard and you look up and go oh that went short or i hit that too soft and then it's gone too far and you're like why am i so confused hmm. right I've taken rank beginners that have never played golf before, right? And, and put them through this test. Mm -hmm. And they've rolled ball after ball because they're a human being with extreme talent, mm -hmm. right? They're special, we're all special. We just need a way to access that specialness in us. And it's, and it's our perception of how hard and how much effort it's gonna take to hit something. Plain and simple and weight controls it. Weight controls time, right? Controls it on a grandfather clock and it controls it in a radial stroke and it controls pressure which ultimately changes time in a linear player. And the third thing you don't want to be is radial and linear at the same time, because then you're screwed up. You're really messed up. So um, that's, it's, it's really critical to kill one of those and foster the other one. And, you, and we do that through uh, the weight fitting.